The people of Imo State have now joined their counterparts across the country in celebrating the nation's 62nd Independence Day. Governor Hopus Odima, in his speech, called on Nigerians to promote those things that unite us as a nation and shun ethnicity and rivalry. The governor says there is need for Nigerians to search their hearts, adding that trust and love are key ingredients Nigerians should emulate in order to move the country forward. Glory is not in mega but in rising every time you fall. This should constantly inspire us to throw it on, irrespective of the setbacks we may have faced or facing at the moment. Therefore, we must resolve to forge ahead, be more united, less distracted by the things that divide us. As a matter of fact, every successful nation had its fair share of turbulent and uncertain moments. But they were able to overcome because of their faith in themselves. And their country remained unchecked. No nation can survive without trust among its people. To succeed, a nation needs trust. A nation needs love and the fervent patriotic commitment of our citizens. I therefore see the occasion of this second independence celebration as an opportunity for us to rededicate ourselves to promoting and defending our common interests over and above self interests. Be your brother's keeper. Avoid the poor human syndrome. Love your family with all your heart. We should also resolve to accommodate one another, irrespective of our differences. Believing that the God that made it possible for us to find ourselves in one entity called Nigeria did not make him. Also, Governor Hakmadu Fentiri says the nation is facing a lot of insecurity challenges. Uh, ranging from kidnapping and banditry that need uh, to be dealt with to save the country from collapsing. The governor disclosed this today during the celebration of Nigeria at 62. And that was at the uh, Mahmoud Rabado Square, Yola, the Adamaste capital. According to Fentiri, the country needs leaders that will put an end to the insecurity bedeviling the country. So Nigerians need to do the needful by voting the right candidate in 2023. I'm however worried that the nation has had to pass through challenges, times in her journey to nationhood, railing out of an unfortunate battle with insurgency, kidnapping, and banditry should give every citizen cause for concern. We came at a time the state was passing through its worst challenges of insecurity, economic hardship, and COVID-19 pandemic. Today, we are proud to tell our people that we have been able to change the ugly narrative and are ever ready to defend our actions, publicly knowing fully well that we have made a difference in governance within our first tenure, despite these challenges. I believe in a new Nigeria going into election in 2023, Nigeria will surmount its present challenges and emerge stronger. But it will not just happen until we rise up to make the real change that Nigeria has been yearning for through the ballot. I urge you to renew faith with Nigeria as the nation adds another year. We will get better will be greater. I assure you, we will not abandon any of our projects that is ongoing. We will continue our infrastructure de development until the last day of this administration. Back in Ogun State, concerned stakeholders have raised their hope for a better Nigeria, irrespective of the challenges facing the nation. The celebration was held at Moshuda Bela Stadium as residents came out en masse in Abelkuta, describing the day as an evaluation day 
which is uh, worth celebrating. Meanwhile, Nigerians were charged to be committed to the progress of the nation. It's not the same Nigeria that our forefather handed over to us several decades ago. If they are alive today, I'm sure they will never be happy. Because the Nigeria they handed over to us, then there was electricity supply, there was, there, was, there, was, there was portable water, there was good hospital. But today, the reverse is the case. I only appeal to the government of the day that they should use the opportunity of today's celebration to find means to end the ASU strike on ground. And at the same time, they should pro provide employment and end bandit, banditry, insecurity, and the rest in the country. Because a situation, I want you to know that no nation is perfect. Nigeria is the same. But at the same time, Nigeria can still be made perfect. It depends on the way me and you feel it. At the same time, I want to implore all Nigerians that as the election is coming, we should do everything humanly possible to ensure we have a free and fair election. To be fair, we are not where we are supposed to be. But we should all be determined and committed to make Nigeria work for us. So it's not a group of people that we do it. All of us as a people must be determined to change the narrative. It's only then that we can have a Nigeria that all of us will be proud of. We urge all Nigerians, we should remain united. We should remain dedicated and to ensure that the peace of this country is guaranteed. We are moving towards a national period. We should pray that it should be peaceful and the best will come out of it. Nigeria workers, we should remain more dedicated to our duty and to ensure that we contribute our quota in no small measure to the development and progress of this great country. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.